والله يدعو إلى دار السلام ويهدي من يشاء إلى صراط مستقيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, we send praises to Allah, the Creator, and we send peace and blessings to all of the prophets, to the Prophet Abraham, the Prophet Moses, to Jesus, to Muhammad, peace be upon them all, to all those righteous ones who have walked this earth from the beginning of time. And we begin in the greeting words of the righteous, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, all praise to Allah, the month of Ramadan is upon us. This blessed month has finally come like an old friend who is meeting us after a long time. Muslims will be fasting all over the planet Earth, in China, in Russia, in Southeast Asia, in Africa, in America, in Europe, in the Middle East, in all parts of the planet, all nations, all races, all people will be fasting in this blessed month. We want to take this occasion to thank the members of Huda TV, the sponsors, the owners, the directors, the camera people, the script writers, all of those people involved in this production. And we pray that Almighty God Allah would bless them and would give them the best of this month and would give them blessings for all of their actions. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last of a long series of prophets. And he, alayhi salatu wasalam, taught the people in the same traditions that came from the prophets of old. All of the prophets taught Tawheed. They all taught the belief in one God and that as human beings we should submit to the creator of the heavens and the earth. We should live a righteous life in this world. We should not lie. We should not steal. We should not kill the weak and innocent. But we should try to live the best kind of life. One of the important actions within these teachings was fasting. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave special teachings and in that he was blessed with the presence of the month of Ramadan. And so this blessed month is the time that we are reflecting in and we pray in this series to be able to look at some of the virtues of this month and to try to gain insight into the real power and the real blessings that Allah Azza wa Jal has given us. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, on the eve of the month of Ramadan, reported, and he spoke to his followers, and Salman al-Fadisi radiallahu an, he is the person who reports this. Salman tells us that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, O people, a great and blessed month is here. It is a month Allah has enjoined on you its fasting as an obligational duty and all of you must fulfill it. And he has encouraged you to pray during its nights as an extra act. Whoever performs a good deed in this month, he will be considered as one who has performed a major obligation in another month. Whoever performs a major obligation will be treated as one who has performed 70 obligations in another month. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, was giving us the background to the power of this month. That even simple actions, simple good deeds can take the place of major obligations in Islam. And that those obligations we fulfilled will be giving us countless numbers of blessings. He also, peace be upon him, said to his followers and to us, Ramadan is the month of patience and the reward of patience is paradise. It is the month of sharing and a month in which a believer's provision is increased. So a believer does not lose in this month. A believer by abstaining from the material things of this world and by carrying out the actions of this month and sharing of his time, sharing of his wealth will actually be increased. The Prophet peace be upon him also informed us, it is a month which contains a night which is more excellent than a thousand months. Whoever is deprived of its blessings, he is deprived of a great blessing. And so this month is one whose time contains special blessings and mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a special time 
chosen for believers regardless of their nationality, regardless of their language, that they should carry out the fasting, they should abstain from food and drink and from sexual activity in the daylight hours, and they become part of an international community that is lifting up its hands in prayers and that is abstaining from the material delights of this world and looking for the special blessings. The Prophet, peace be upon him, gave his uh, teachings drop by drop, step by step to the followers, and he led us toward a great reward. So we thank Allah Azza wa Jal again for this opportunity to be in the blessed month of Ramadan, for this chance to be of those who have health, who have wealth, those who have the strength to abstain from their needs, their daily needs, and do it for Allah. Those who will stand up in the night, those who will give up their sleep, and they do it for the Creator of the heavens and the earth. There is immense reward in this month. It also is a time that through this abstinence, we are able to identify with the poor. We are able to identify with people who have no food. And so Ramadan is a time of great ta'aleem. It is a teaching time. Not just teaching with words, but the teaching is done by the very state and condition of the body that the believer finds himself in. It is a time when all of the Muslims are fasting, regardless of the agenda. And so it is obligatory upon males and females and the young and the old, all those who have reached puberty are obliged by the Creator to fast in this month. And through this obligation, we are actually gaining blessings. Even young people can fast. And Muslims throughout the planet will be encouraging their young people to fast in this blessed month. Even if they fast for a few hours, or if they are very small and they fast for a few moments, if they do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they become part of the community who has chosen or been chosen specially for this time to be restricted in this life and to receive countless uh, blessings and mercy in the next life. So we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the month of Ramadan. We pray that Allah would bless us in this month and we pray that Allah would give us increased understanding during this time that we as the followers of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam carry out this message of Tawheed. This is a message that did not only uh, reach the people in the Arabian Peninsula. It is a message in line with that which came to the prophets of old. The Prophet peace be upon him has showed us that prophets came from all nations. Prophets came to China. Prophets came to India. Prophets came to Russia. Prophets came to Africa. Prophets came to all parts of Europe, to all parts of the, to the Americas. All sections of humanity have been blessed with those who have been raised up to teach them that they should not bow down to created things, but they should bow down to the creator of the universe, bow down to the one who is in back of everything that we see the one who created the sun, the one who created the moon, the one who put the sun in such a perfect order that it continues to flow around the earth. And so in the same way that the sun submits, as a Muslim, we can say, submits in its order, submits in its path, the way that the moon goes around the planet earth, the way that the planets revolve in the universe, all of this is submission to the Creator of the heavens and the earth. And so similarly, in the month of Ramadan, the Muslim also submits and is able to uh, join that grouping and that category of the planets and the animals and the plants and insect life and all different parts of the universe that submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the month of Ramadan has finally come. People have been waiting sometimes for years to be in a Ramadan that they really understood. 
So it is a blessing for us to be able to communicate this message to each other. It is a blessing for us, for our families to be able to sit around and to break the fast together, to wait for the next day and to start the fast together, to stand up in the night and to pray to Allah Azza wa Jal, to join the ranks of the Muslims when they are praying, to become part of that community guided by the lessons of the last Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, for surely he did not speak from himself. He spoke from above seven heavens. And he informed us that fasting is a special condition. And in a hadith Qudsi, in a hadith which is reported where the Prophet, peace be upon him, reports in the name of his Lord, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah Azza wa Jal has said, Kullu amali ibn Adam lahu illa sawm fa innahu li wa ana ajzibi. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has reported to us and given us this message that all of the actions of the children of Adam, male and female, are for themselves, except for fasting. Surely that is for me, and surely I will reward specially for it. So a person can give in the path of Allah. They can pray in jama'ah. They can go to Mecca. They can perform many actions, but the actions of fasting are a special set of actions where we abstain from the physical delights of this world and we submit to the Creator in our minds, in our bodies, in everything that we do. The double blessing within this month is that we are not only abstaining from the Creator of the heavens and the earth, but we are doing it in a special month. We are doing it in a time that this abstinence, which normally would get us one hasana, one blessing, will get us 70. And by giving, it will give us countless rewards. So we pray that this would be a month of great success for the Muslim Ummah. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bless the children of the Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. We pray that Allah would bless the women of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We pray, pray that Allah would bless the men of the Ummah of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam. And we pray that Allah would give us this success. And I leave you in peace with this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.